welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to Bio Talk One Eighty Seven. Uh, yeah, One Eighty Seven, right? Uh, I think uh, so. <laughs> Uh, good I evening. Know. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, happy Sinterklaas. Uh, if you're Dutch, uh, you know what that means. Uh, <laughs> he's he's in the thumbnail, so uh, that's good. Uh, as per usual, uh, if you're a subscriber, you can chat. Uh, it only takes a minute, quite literally. If you're more than a subscriber for a minute, then you can uh, follow the chat, and uh, that saves us a bunch of binamoring and that sort of nonsense. Right on. Uh, <laughs> well, if you're annoyed with us for whatever reason, you can always unsubscribe. I mean, that's free. Uh, if you're watching Formula One, uh, I'm watching over my shoulder. It's uh, very tight. <laughs> God damn it. You got your Skype on full screen on one screen so you can see the little bit of the harmony you got going on. <laughs> yeah, more or less. I see uh, Lewis is very that's close. <laughs> That's funny. Oh uh, no, you're you're muted on Skype or on uh the Twitch side again. Uh, bloody hell. Uh, it's only on hundred and eighty seventh time, right? Yeah, but not on Twitch. Uh let's see. Where 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 do we go? Uh uh properties uh, mm -hmm. huh? Huh? Where where did it go? Oh, uh, I found it. Uh, say something? Something. Oh, it's still not there. That's weird. Uh, there you go. Mike uh, is new here. What, you'd like update your windows or some shit? No, th this has been happening for the last, uh, I don't know, t two weeks now. It's fucking bizarre. Uh, I seem to be fine. Uh, hmm. God damn it. But you don't have enough neural pathways in your head to remember where that check mark is, for God's sake. Or what? Ah, there we go. <laughs> All right. There we are. <clears throat> uh, no, now people on uh, <laughs> the other sides can hear you too. Uh, uh, also, if you're on the Twitch side, uh, you finally have uh, emotes or whatever the fuck they're called. Uh, there's a buttload of them. <laughs> uh, emotes. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, yes, uh, Mike, uh, I will try not to spoil it, but uh, you can potentially see it there a little bit. And God damn it, Winston. Sorry, I have a cat. <laughs> the two of them, for God's sake. Yeah, well, uh, this little guy, he loves to fucking eat. And uh, wherever there is food, he'll uh, search and destroy, sort of. So it's like a dog, yes, less, but that jumps on tables and high places. Yes, well, dogs do that too, I guess, but not to this extent. Except the, uh, this one can jump like five feet, like this. Guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's like looking at shit to jump at. That's for sure. Yeah, well, that's a problem. Uh, uh, also, uh, uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Uh, uh, if people are bothered by Formula One uh, in the background, uh, I can change camera angles or turn it off. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, if you, you want really a guaranteed, yeah, guaranteed answer to your question and or topic, uh, Super Chats are open. Uh, so uh, that's always... Uh, good to go if you're a channel member uh that's the join button right next to the subscribe button uh you also get uh, uh guaranteed answers to your questions and our topic and we'll have a giveaway later uh from uh our good uh santa uh prestige creators once again and nice. uh in the meantime we also have obviously some skinny play to to, to shill so uh use our referral link uh, right there and uh, if you buy any two products, you can get 10% off. And uh, the newest product, obviously, is the BSound level that they made covers for. They're fully reversible and uh, very high quality. So that's uh, really rather nice. And uh, if you're into Christmas, uh, yeah, there's Christmas. <laughs> Uh, mostly finishing up uh, uh, painting, uh, setting up uh, uh, the, the the harmony with the new uh, twenty eight speakers. Right, uh, where is it there? 
Uh, probably next week somewhere. But it's a problem, as uh, any cat person will know. Uh, they love to climb up that thing as well. <laughs> so it has to be left quite bare. <laughs> uh well it depends on how much uh it depends on how much stuff uh you have in it obviously so uh we uh leave it quite bare now because uh again wind fucking balls and shit that they go it's after like, ooh shiny, shiny so where are you gonna put it because like you're risking like you're risking serious damage if it comes to having a tree topple over in a goddamn room yeah. Because it's either the 50s or the 28s they're going to eat some no, of that. No, it's going to go like right there next to the, the white chairs. Oh, like in the more or less middle of the room almost? Yeah, I kind of have to. Uh, I have to measure out if it topples, if it can hit anything. <laughs> Build the perimeter around yes. it. <laughs> this is the safe zone for putting the tree. Yeah. Uh, well, it's real though, because my mom fucked up her uh, bio center too with it, right? With the tree, like, because that aluminum panels, right? Mm. You look at them wrong and they're dead. And yeah. The, 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 the fucking fake bristles did her in. Uh, Mike, yeah. how does your new mm. system sound uh, with films? Uh, well, not just with films, but with films in particular. It, it sounds bloody amazing. Uh, as per usual, B and O uh, and the harmony and all that uh, it takes care of all the the, the magic brain power that's used, mm -hmm. and uh, somehow uh, it, it, it's better than just about anybody else. I mean, I know people bitch about like you don't have true Atmos, this, that, and the other, but uh, you get seven point one PCM, and. Uh, which is quite honestly plenty, especially since it's uncompressed. Mm -hmm. And uh, B and OTVs love PCM. Uh, evening, uh, Prestige. Thank you, dear Santa. It's happening. So yeah. So, uh, but in terms of uh, base response, it's uh, it's it's quite something. It's qu it's it's quite impressive uh, in terms of. Like, I had 18, my, uh, can you see it? You can see it maybe a bit better now, right? The 18 is right there. It really blends in. The only thing you can really see is the lens top of it because it just in, it disappears into the curtain pretty well. Yeah. I mean, even in real right. life, it's it's somewhat uh, hard to see. <laughs> I mean, over here, the wall is blue. And uh, I think I uh, showed that, uh, was it last week or something? I can pull it up. Uh, I think Bose cubes would look better. <laughs> <laughs> but you mean these 17s up here? Uh, there. Uh, where, where is it? Uh, there. There. That's funny. <laughs> uh, so, no, the, the uh, with this amount of speakers, I, I would, for most people, say obviously it's overkill. But it's very noticeable that uh, the 28s can sort of follow along with the bass. And especially when uh, you sit sort of here and uh, you have to go all the way there. Like this distance for bass is noticeable when the bass only comes from the front, in my opinion. And uh, th that the 28s are just way more capable. It, like it's it's... It's really obvious compared to 18s as rear speakers. How much better they are. Yeah. Like, it's it's unreal how much the difference is. I mean, the 18s aren't bad by no means, but they're just not that bass heavy. They're not that capable. See, but for me, I think the disadvantage would be if I were to buy those, I would have to buy a new TV as well because there's no software uh, written for them in... Uh in the Avant or Bio System 4s, right? Which is unfortunate. Because <clears throat> I don't think it's that much to update that. Or maybe they do some sort of a special soft deal that uh, uh, that you can download, just like you can download the software for Bio System 3 that you can control the speaker groups, I guess, or speaker presets in the 90s. Which I'm still yet to obtain that fucking software. Yeah, uh, Prestige Creators have an Eclipse in 28 coming next week. Congratulations. Uh, you'll be fucking blown away. Mm -hmm. uh, 
It's, uh... it's a sweet setup. It's a sweet it's, setup. It's weird to call it a problem, but it's it's not really a problem. But uh, the 28s on BNO's website look a lot bigger than they are in real life. They do. <clears throat> they look like lab ones in real life. To the like perception wise, lab ones in real life to 28 on uh, on BNO's website. That you'd think that they're like holy shit balls, right? They're tall. Yeah, well, whereas lab ones for me are like here, twenty uh, eights are like uh, here, more or less, mm -hmm. which is quite a difference. I mean, uh, as you can see between the lens just here, they they they're not much different in height. It, it's it's which one it's, is taller? The twenty eight. Twenty eight is taller by a little bit. Yeah, like I don't know, an inch, about three four centimeters, That's maybe. That's nothing. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's one of those, uh, I don't know how to specifically quantify it, but it, the base on them is insanely powerful for what they are. And I can only put that down to new tech and newer drivers and uh, better standing up to pressures and that sort of thing. Well, 100%. I mean, not to mention that it has a built-in streamer and uh, all that uh, sort of thing. But, uh, I mean, e even so, uh, I I don't really use that. I okay. Like, the, the, the time I, it was actually really helpful was when I was uh, painting uh, the wall uh, here behind me blue. So everything was off, and you just go to the 28s like, boop, radio. <laughs> So that was the only time you did that? Like, yeah, well, with... it was two days. I mean, <clears throat> Justifiably. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I still have to write B&O, but I've had this weird bug in the last four or five days or so, maybe a week, where uh, the radio is on, and after like an hour or two, the TV comes up like it is now, and the picture stays off. It just is up for some reason. It's got the morning wood. Yeah, sort of. It's like, ooh, I'm excited to play this for you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's funny. That's not the. It's not the worst of glitches, though. Oh no! To, to be honest, because you can get some serious poopies going on, but. Uh, yeah, we'll blame Canada for that for some reason. <laughs> That's right. Did tell you I bought the uh, the the Volvo front end loader off of Bricklink like last week. But no. So this was the set that I bought. Uh, I I honestly wanted to take it home with me from Denmark when uh, I was there for the first tour, mm -hmm. for the first BNO tour, and it was just too fucking big. So I broke. I can think. <laughs> it's huge. And the best part, the leg. Oh no! Uh, hold on! Uh, God damn it, uh, Willie! You're yeah. No, <laughs> only you. What the hell? Uh, oh, what? Uh, only when I change scenes, you're muted again. Uh, ah, ah. Uh, Which will know if any. Sowie, Sowie. No, it's it's both sides. What the hell? I, I don't get it. Ah! <laughs> Windows updates. I told you some shit happened. <sighs> Sorry. Nice. So uh, there we are. Uh, 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 this is the other side uh, of my living room, by the way. Uh, and Willie was showing off his big dump truck. 
It's a front and loader, dickhead. The dump truck is above it now. <laughs> it got it got demoted. <laughs> so so when are when are you going into construction? I don't know. This thing is just dropping some mushrooms and freaking load some rocks and stuff in the house. <laughs> man. <laughs> just drive around, have a good evening, my Cardosin. <laughs> but uh, that'll be a while. I don't know. I think I got all the sets that I needed or wanted, so to speak. But Lego's a bastard, man. They keep making new shit, cool shit, so it'll never stop. Just like with BNO, it'll never stop. So, what's this uh, new uh, Verizon stage or whatever that they're? They so sent you an article. I didn't really have a chance to read it. Uh, so but, uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, come on, load. Yeah, uh, there we go. In that one, um, there we are. Uh, are we still? Yeah, we're still good. So it's uh, somehow uh, being uh, busy. Uh, uh, That's uh, credit to Nick. He he sniffed this out. Yeah, I, I read it too. But uh, initially, mm. I was like. Wait, what? Verizon, the 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 shit tier TV company in America, whatever. And then I ignored it. Aren't they a wireless like a? They're a wireless company. Yeah. Verizon Wireless, right? Yeah. So they do what is it? Mobile phones and uh, TV over satellite or something like that. Yeah. Like I guess you call it cable TV. You could call it here. Yeah, Tigers also send it to me on Instagram and. Uh, nice. So the. There's this first weird looking thing that is so generic looking, it doesn't even look like a B&O soundbar, but somehow B&O made it. It looks like a back of a 6000 with a cover on it. Almost. Yeah. So it's, uh, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's probably what they did. It's like, Let's turn around the 6000 cloth and it'll be fine. Yeah, and... uh and then you have uh, where's the other one? Oh, they don't even show the other one in this uh, article. Uh, they have a, a a sort of mini bio sound stage. Oh, uh, stupid ad blocker! Close this window. The small one is only tuned by BNO. Frederick says. Uh, yeah, I think the the bigger one, it, since it's based on the stage, is more. Uh, uh, a, a B and O product because uh, I mean, as you can see, it's pretty much a stage. So, what, a Chinese pawn off the stage chassis or some? Like, how is that? Sorta. Of. It's it's basically exactly a stage with two drivers less, so uh, two base drivers less, and uh, both of them have a built-in Verizon wireless streamer. So it's locked to that company, basically. Yes, and it runs Android OS, which we all know is like fucking amazing. Not. <laughs> and it, it instead of uh, what is it? Instead of two HDMI, the stage gets four, or the Verizon stage, whatever we want to call it, uh, gets gets four, and I think this little guy gets three. Because it's basically a, like a dedicated soundbar with no arc. No, it is through e arc, but <clears throat> but it's uh, I I I guess it's the replacement for a set top box with speakers built in, sorta. If you want it to be, it's not a bad idea, especially for like bedrooms and shit. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it, it's okay, but that's about all that's said with it. Like, I, I would still prefer a, a a regular old stage because it's just better. How much is that other one? Because it was like outrageously cheaper than stage. Uh, four hundred dollars and a thousand dollars. And stage is what nineteen hundred bucks, two thousand bucks. 
Well, this is USD, right? And the stage oh. normal stage is, I think, fifteen hundred. Uh, okay, so that's not that like that's not that big of a gap if they took out two drivers and the amps, and probably it's not even tuned by BNO. Maybe well, not not tuned by BNO. It's not the same shit that BNO uses inside it, like the electronics on the inside. Maybe the class D amps are uh, are not ice amps. I wonder if the stage even has ice amps anyway. I bet you it does. So uh, it'll be better than any <laughs> other non-Verizon uh, soundbar. But if <laughs> if you can hide it, I don't understand why you would not. Uh, like if you look at modern day LGs, right? Like why not have the Verizon app run on your LG? Right. Have them run natively. Like, I, I don't get what the add-on is. Uh, secondly, the LG ecosystem is much more robust than any sort of Android. I don't think that we're even remote market for this kind of thing, bro. I think this is for people that live on a very, very simple level that have a very cheap shit TV that is not an LG, that is something that, you know, has been around for seven, eight years. And then they can just have something that actually sounds good. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think so, too. <clears throat> uh I don't think it'll sound bad. That's not it at all. But uh, it, uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. But I also think it's one of these things. Like if if you're like any of us that are into uh, B and O in any which way, uh, I don't think this allows you to use the B Remote One, for instance. I don't know. Is it even aluminium wrapped around it? It might not be. It looks like it, but then again, I've never held one, and they won't sell them here. So, or they just wrap around and meet where the Bangan Olufsen logo is, and that's where the IR port is for your shit remote. Uh, that could very well be. Yes. Uh, it does have HDMI two point one port, so <clears throat> I guess that's good. Uh, I don't fully see the use of it yet, other than gaming. But <laughs> take this who wants to be a remote one with its wonky screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wonder how many people chimed up to be and I don't think we'll ever know the stats of that, but uh, uh, you'll love it because it has Google Assistant built in now. Now, easy there, buddy. It's not that everything has to have a fucking Google Assistant. It's good to have it. <laughs> I already don't like having two of them in one room. Like, and when you turn off one or the other, it's just that the microphone is off. Oh, fuck off. So, I don't know. I wonder. I wonder how that kit takes off. If it's something that they just built into a package that you can just have and fucking have it on a plan, just like a PBR box from back in the yesteryears. I think this is a great idea for them to get into a market like that. Because mm -hmm. those sell, those sell freaking thousands of those. There's still thousands of those. And it is a good system. Yeah. And, but... and I guess if you, like, you know, buy a regular stage afterwards, like when you decide to, you know, take the blue pill and freaking buy a real stage, then, then you'll shit, right? Because then it's got two more drivers for base, which is going to be even way more mind-blowing than than uh or, or or even more more better sounding than this one would ever be yeah but you, you lose your streaming capabilities which every tv has built in now anyway which i i don't fully get what why you would want everything in a separate box i mean there's two boxes in my mind that are separate that do a bunch of other stuff that smart tvs really can't touch and that is the uh, the NVIDIA one and the Apple TV. What about the NVIDIA one? The Well, you can basically game on it, right? Uh, you can hook up your sort of Xbox controller or whatever. And, uh, hmm. I mean, it also runs Android, but it's all NVIDIA powered. So the, the graphics acceleration and whatnot is, is insane because NVIDIA is NVIDIA. <coughs> And uh, I mean, they're just the best at this point for graphics, in my opinion. Oh, by far, by a long shot. 
then again, I don't have it because I don't really game on my PC or on the on my TV. Would be a fucking hell of an experience, bro. Play like Doom mm. 3, you know? Pass a little nugget in your pants when the fucking <laughs> shit screaming behind you from the 28th. Going <laughs> over, like these demons flying over top of you and stuff. Oh my God. Uh, I wonder how the delay would work, but there's so much processing going on that I wonder if, uh, like, how the computer would deal with that. Because I don't think you could actually afford to play, like, a real online first-person shooter on the TV. Do you think? You could, if you're okay with sound delays. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you yeah. can't have sound delays, right? It's just kind of weird. Uh, by the way, this is the one I meant, the uh, NVIDIA Shield. Uh, it, it looks cool. Yeah, it is nice. It's uh, it's quite unique in many ways. But it's, I mean, again, NVIDIA is one of these companies that uh, apparently can spend a billion dollars on something and not miss <laughs> it if it goes wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, and B&O is not that. And nothing ever goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, they 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 they're perfect, absolutely perfect. They never make a mistake. Everything works out of the box. Like barely anything hangs up that I remember. Yeah, so. and uh, for anybody that wants to uh, read this interview with the new. Uh, uh, was he CEO, right, Christian? Mm -hmm. He's not chairman, he's CEO. He's the one at the steering wheel. I mean, uh, I, I have no uh, idea who News R&D is, really, but apparently it's big enough to interview the CEO. Uh, if that's the case, Christian, uh, <laughs> if you want to come on this show, you're always welcome to. Uh, we'll do any time of day that works for you. I would. I'd love to talk to him. But uh, it, it <clears throat> my question would be, what's your plan for North America? First out of the gate. I wouldn't even hesitate. Not how you do it and all that shit. We can get, get to that later. But first, I want to know, what would you, what's your plans for North American market? Like, how would you not ex want to expand here? Like, there is a lot of money here. There's a lot of money. There's a lot of people that like the luxury. There's a lot of Chinese that come from China, obviously. And they have the cash to sink, but there is nowhere to like, you know, there's these unrealistic expectations to open a store <laughs> in current economy is even, even worse. Yeah. So, but where do you open it? Like, I think here, if, if, if there was a, a possibility, Calgary wouldn't be a, that good of an idea unless it's a very small shop. Yeah. But th that's not what they accept though. No. But, uh, the pompous stuff doesn't work much, man. Like, if you have something that is, you know, like size of my apartment, per se, that you can show a whole bunch of stuff, that's all you need. You don't need more than 800 square feet to run a store. But more or less, the current uh, plan, as he explains, is b and in, in 70 countries, uh, but the main push is on six European countries, China and South Korea. Which ones do you think are the European countries? Uh, England? Denmark, the Netherlands, England, uh, probably Germany. That's four. I, I think France. Would... It, it depends on uh, how, how they grade it, because they're also uh, somewhat established in Italy. But it depends a bit on how they push uh, and what they deem as pushing. And the sixth one would be probably Italy. Yeah. But in in, in terms of uh, Scotland, <laughs> sorry, we mean the UK when we say England. <laughs> Lithuania. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, that's. Um, I don't know. I think that I think they're making a mistake. Well, and I think that mistake actually starts off with who is in charge of this entire operation on this side of the uh, uh, globe, not country, but globe. Because I don't think there's enough effort put in from the top in U.S. side 
to make this to make this more friendly to be sold and to generate more income for the company. They just don't, even though there is a company that is a self entity, right? Because mm-hmm. I dealt with Bang and Olson of America, not Peter's Bangway fucking number three in uh, in Denmark. It's true. <coughs> Things were more or less labeled and shipped from there that way, but they were always coming from Czech Republic. Yeah. I mean... And China later. In terms of countries that buy a lot, I think... I mean, Sweden... Russia? Not really. Sweden has like two dealers, I think, at the moment. Maybe three. But they sell a buttload of stuff. Then Denmark has... Is is a way smaller country with way m- many more dealers, and they also buy a lot of stuff, which you can sort of get because, like, it's an audio brand from your own country. There's some pride in that. Uh, uh, thank you, Don. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Don. But you also have grown up around it. Yeah. Very likely. Very, very <laughs> likely, right? That your parents, grandparents had it, and it's just like, yeah, buying all of them. That's what you're gonna get. Because what well, you're gonna get a Sony like a dick? No. <laughs> So, and then uh, the Netherlands makes total sense as well because, I mean, I have like eight dealers within forty minutes to an hour from me, mm-hmm. which is uh, in the rest of the world unheard of. And uh, oh. what was it? The two thousand eight crash. I think mm-hmm. this country alone took something like. 40 50 percent of Bino's total revenue wow yeah I mean after all Bino besides for most people anyway or for the the how would you say the the the, the people that care about status is a status symbol I mean uh, the, the same for the TVs because they're always uh a better thing to look at than anything else. And I quite honestly don't mind that they went in with LG, but I mean, even if you look at how it looks with LG panels, like the Eclipse and the Harmony, it's there's more going on. There's more to look at. There's more specialness about it. Mm-hmm. I mean, and uh, th- that's actually literally the next question uh, that they go into. Uh, uh, TVs are still... A part of their core business, which is very fucking great to hear that. Meaning, mm-hmm. please do not give up on this because then we'll have nowhere else to go. <laughs> because uh, if BNO doesn't have TVs, I, I don't know what I would do in terms of like, I would probably give it up at that point. Well, the, it, it just became unfeasible, right? Like the tech was moving so fast. Like when you look at BioVision 755, right? Like, by then, people were like, oh, we're getting into plasma. And then the, like, the 4K was already starting to come out from Samsung. So by the time they perfected something and honed, you know, make, made a fucking diamond out of a, out of a rock or a crystal, it was almost too late to sell it. Yeah. And, and yes, I, like, I, I don't like the first edition of the Eclipse because that was kind of sold on the premise that you are able to upgrade it, but now it's a middle finger up your booty hole where, you know, the Mark II is now fine. So it feels bad for people that bought it early, right? But uh, I do like the fact that they are going uh, with this business model where they do concentrate more on the, on the, on the speakers and the integration within everything else. So that that it's a it's a proper way to do it, man. If if you can't beat them, join them. But that's not doesn't really go for everything, I guess. So yeah, and I like that they chose LG over Samsung because <laughs> Samsung doesn't really have anything new, other than that, that goofy yellow pixel or whatever extra layer of some bullshit that they put on there. You know, new new displays. Who cares? Mm-hmm. Well, you also Samsung see. runs on Android, doesn't it? I think so. I mean, I, I, however much I hate generally walled off gardens like LG, I must say LG does it well with their web OS because like sort of they take sort of Apple mentality as in we test shit before we put it up in our store before it bricks TVs and stuff. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, you can pretty much be guaranteed that if there's an app available in the app store, it will work and it won't cause any issues with whatever Anything. else you're, you're yeah. running. And I, yeah, I it's either compatible or incompatible, but if it's compatible, it's 100% working. Yeah. I like I mean, that. I mean, they obviously also in the interview go uh, into the chip production and I, I sort of expected it, but now it's been said. So, uh, one of the things when BNO runs into uh, currently with chip shortages runs into issues is that they literally apparently get outbid by other people. Hmm. Which I sort of understand, but it is kind of like where we are where we are in the world, which is like, hmm. <laughs> It's it's insane what's happening with those chip shortages and such. Like even look at BNO, right? They pulled all the emerges. I had no idea that they completely like just backpedal the fuck out of it from North America. They had to like dealers had to actually send them back to Europe, which is insane to me. So no more laughs. Yeah. Uh for anybody that doesn't hadn't seen it before, uh Hey, this this should be my logo up here. I gave it five stars as well. Fuck off. <laughs> Gavin shut his shops too. Uh, yeah, but not the STB shop. Uh, he shot the B and O shop. So he does have one, or does he own a B and O store? No, he doesn't have a B and O store, but he has the STB shop still. Oh, so the STB brackets uh, is still alive, but his B and O shop isn't. What was his B and O shop? Used equipment? No, no, uh, just a regular dealer. That's what I'm saying. Like he was a regular dealer on the side as well. Yeah. Okay. I I, I don't know what caused that. Maybe he, I mean, for for all we know, right? It could also be personal reasons. Mm. I mean, it's kind of more likely that the business isn't doing exactly great. And there were some meager years in there and that, I don't know, you, you probably have a, an easier time if you start up a B and O shop now to survive than if you started in, let's say 2010 or something like that. What do you mean? Well, just because the whole Android thing in the middle and then the, the lockdowns and all that shit, uh, Mm. So, I mean, we're more or less, most of the world is past the situation similar to that. And uh, everything actually that they sell is pretty much good now. <laughs> so you're in terms of uh, replacing stuff uh, is a lot less. Uh, in, in terms of TV screens, it's not so proprietary anymore. It costs you an arm and a leg. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, in case anybody missed it, uh, the weird uh, Halo uh, is is gone. Uh, not Halo, sorry, the uh, Emerge. Hmm. Evening, Hi, Steve. Steve. New Beano store in uh, Nottingham recently opened. Nice. Well, whenever you make it out there, I hope you make a video. If they let you, it'd be cool. It didn't he already? Well, if it just opened, yeah. or recently opened. Don't go Robin Hooding around there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what I don't like? I don't like those three bo three room speaker sets, two room speaker sets, and they don't give you any deal on anything. Yeah, it makes no sense to me. So, I just, I just don't get it. Like. Shouldn't that be a hookup if you get more than one? You'd think five to ten percent off. Like ten percent would be reasonable, man. You know what I mean? Well, you both buy, like what? basically. But I just I don't know. I don't understand. I don't like how this whole config website goes because you can't really configure the way you want them on the website, but you can configure them that way. I guess you could configure them that way on a, on the ROS. I don't remember if it's possible. Uh, Tigris and Kalamas, is the Emerge gone? Well, for now. 
Uh, and it, it's not as in it's gone from the product it's line. It's the parts. Yeah, it's like we can't get any fucking parts in to make them. Yeah. So there's also no point in displaying them because why display something you can't sell? Since they've learned that with the harmony. Yeah. You know, show it now and six months later it's available. Uh, Tickers are the Beer Lab 18s EOL? No, but the Beer Lab 20s are. Finally. Like uh, the, 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 what do we call them? The penguins? The nuns. <laughs> The these... penguins are the, the the original ones, but these are the nuns. Uh, I think the nines are bulldogs. <laughs> that too. Uh, Steve says some UK stores have them in stock. If you want an emerge new stock, are on the way from what I hear. Uh, correct, but uh... <laughs> from nor from North American dealers because <laughs> <laughs> there is no stock anywhere. They're just hopelessly sold out. Well, the, the the thing is, if your dealer has one on display, then he'll have them. Uh, yeah. But if they do not have them on display, then most likely the, the the whatever parts come in is too intermittent to be secure of a steady production uh, line. That they basically said, we'll wait until we have some backlog at least. And uh, that, that we can or like bulk make uh, and not just five at a time. Yeah. But uh, also since the 20s are EOL, if these are your dream speakers and you want them new, uh, this oh. is your time to go to a, a dealer and get a good deal and a uh, full warranty. They're not your dream speakers, dude. Well, it depends oh. on your budget. Like I'd rather get nine over twenty, bro. I just don't like the look of them at all. I, I personally like the look of these more than the nines. However, they look they look like a fat short brother of an eighteen. You know what I'm saying? That just got a fucking like a Batman cape on. And and now he's running around all fat and short. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's, a, he's the fat twin of a fucking lab eighteen. Look at it. It looked like the, if the eighteen swallowed the nineteen, that's what would happen. And it me, would and it would wear a bathrobe. That's what a twenty looks like to me. I mean, personally, I'd rather have eighteens and a nineteen. Exactly. Yeah. Because I could actually look at those too. Because uh, literally, as their uh, product first page is on the website, this actually looks way nicer to me and much more interesting. It looks way more elegant than the, than the twenties. I'm sorry, but I just can't deal. I mean, you it's know, amazing that they have a Sound Five. Uh, what's that? Wire wireless edition. <laughs> no, what's what's that one? Uh, the, the 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 encore. Yeah, the encore. That's it. That's not an encore. It's not. It's a regular BSN five. Most likely, they show the regular BSN fives on everything. You can't really tell from this angle because they look all the same. Oh, but but it, you know it's Photoshop because it doesn't even have a reflection from the fucking glass. <laughs> well, it does a little bit wrong way, but. Anyways, where's the three cables going into? Nowhere. Yeah. So. But in terms of a subwoofer, and it, just as in something architectural to look at, like this shape is so much more interesting than the, the round pot bellies uh, yeah. uh, of the 20s. I like the 18s. The, the and 18 combo. 19 sub looks sweet. I mean, I, I really like it. I would buy one if I had any use for it. <coughs> I, I really don't know what to do with one if I were to buy one. Just have it sitting somewhere. Yeah. Like complete, completely wireless. It's just a placebo. Yeah, man, it's on. Because <laughs> you don't need it. I mean, uh, you, you see the little red light or, or green light sitting and it's like, okay, do something. <laughs> I like the black. The black paint looks good. The gray one, I wasn't really that good of a fan on, but the, this looks sweet. 
the ninetieth anniversary also looked quite nice. Uh, the rose gold, yeah. Yeah. I used to have that set. I sold it to a buddy of mine with the uh, rose gold 18s. I'm like, if you, if there's anybody that can ever afford to buy this, it was gonna be you because you already have a '90s edition Avant. So it all just matched together. It's sick. Yeah, uh, Brendan says bedroom sub. Well, we'll go for it. Uh, it it packs more a, of a, a punch in there. Yeah, it packs more of a punch than you uh, probably need for a bedroom. But then, uh, I don't know, the, the stuff I have in my living room probably packs more of a, li- a punch than most living rooms need. <laughs> Which cover do I need to see? Oh, uh, oh, oh, the 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 wood covers for the lab ones. Yes, I think I've seen them. Uh... But uh, it's been a while. Shit, they do look good. <laughs> you fuckers. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Prestige, uh, I've hit it out to the ballpark again. We'll have to uh, do a giveaway in a, in, in a bit. And uh, th- there will be terms and conditions, as per usual. <laughs> Uh, but that's good yeah no they're awesome they're awesome covers but uh, I don't know given the current uh, state of mind and situation that I'm thinking about uh, I might be getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff and uh, yeah seeing what's going on Brendan but yeah they look stunning Hmm? Brendan will have your ones Surely. Fuck to pack these speakers, man. Holy mother of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Send them to Texas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> At least they don't have a pointy end. Yeah, they won't come out of the box, but the box is going to be a fucking coffin, dude. Literally. It's like a coffin for you, too, because it's fucking huge and tall. <laughs> it would be like two lab ones worth of packing. Yeah. And those goddamn discs are scary moments too. I like how they're designed. That the, the the light is actually just the light guide going from a LED that shines from the actual speakers into the light guide that is in the stand, and then it comes out in a hole of a stand. That was it's a pretty clever design from Mister David Lewis. God bless his soul. <laughs> uh, I'm not uh, Catholic, but whatever. <laughs> it works. Well, if, Brennan, if you're dying for the covers, I'll. Uh, yeah, well, we can talk about the speakers, I guess. <laughs> so. Well, at least they work. At least you're all on the. Uh, what is it? 110 volt? Oh, yeah, and these have no fuck. Like, these are mint condition, bro. Mint condition. Absolutely zero scuffs on the aluminium. And, yeah. Yeah, the Tigris has a good idea. Just drive halfway each. I mean, it's only like two and a half thousand miles. <laughs> halfway. Yeah. Well, no, if I were to send them, I'd. I, I know who I would use as a company and uh, yeah, they would be packed. Uh, I would have to make boxes for them, which that's the problem with the cost, right? Because now you got to make a fucking box for this thing, which ain't fun. Yeah. Because I would have to palletize them. and It would be a long pallet, do not stack, fuck. It'd be a few hundred bucks for shipping. But at least like I can get hold of uh, some serious cardboard uh from Audi, right? Because they have like, you know, the windshields that they come in from wherever they come in, they're in real thick, like I'm talking like two centimeter thick fucking cardboard walls. So Well it's, it's not they're it. not exactly uh light. No, and the bases are really heavy on them too. Like that cast iron deal is is uh, is insane. But uh yeah well, then again, if it all works out and I can, you know, 
move to states then fuck i just drop him off on the way <laughs> <laughs> uh, i wonder how many people of you have lab ones if you have lab ones uh, let us know in the in the chat uh are you uh, enjoying them because i hope you are i always did i mean they're bloody lovely speakers they are I mean, uh, and I, I actually uh, like them quite a lot with the wood on them as well. Yeah, yeah the wood looks really good on them. Have a like. Uh, have a like, have a like, and uh, you also have a like. Everything is likes. <laughs> nice. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks very legit. Very, very legit. I mean, I must say, this room is also pretty nice to have them in. Does it at all affect the acoustics? Just out of my curiosity. Like, would you hear the, the trebles a bit muffled because of the, 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 the obstacle in front of it, or no? Maybe. But there's... Depending on how well you sit before it, there's less of a, an obstacle because there's mm -hmm. an actual air and not fabric. I mean, to, to put it this way, right? It, on the stage, I can't tell the difference between the, the, the stage cover and uh, the fabric cover. Because the fabric covers are what? They got metal mesh on them, right? Yeah. Just... Yeah. Well, yeah, you can the... take it off. <laughs> you can yeah, but I'm not. Inside. I'm not. I'm not even daring to do that. They've never been apart. Nothing's been ever taken off of them. Leaving them as they are. I'll fuck around. <laughs> break a clip. Really, or some it's shit. just no. like eh, eh. And that's all. Yeah, I know. Is... There's the clip. I'm gonna stay like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to have to live with knowing that that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, like, like prestigious, there's clear enough gap. So I guess maybe there's the <clears throat> slightest bit off axis if you sit really close. But if you're, I don't know, more than three feet away, there's probably no difference at all. If nothing else, it's more open. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm not mistaken, it's it's... You have the, the 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 fabric, and then you have it's fairly fine, sort of like a chicken. It's the mesh. same mesh, like on a six thousand back on the six thousand drills or thirty five hundred. Yeah. So, hmm. I like it. But uh, uh, yeah, everything you see here could be potentially part of a giveaway. Very nice. <laughs> well, if Brandon wins the fucking wood things, uh, then uh, we'll have to get him some speakers for it. Right? <laughs> <clears throat> Shit, mushrooms. Well, actually, that's going to be quite hard for Brandon. Uh, you better make a deal quick with Willie, Brandon. Because, uh, uh, as per usual, uh, our Santa Claus, uh, uh, Santa, if you will. Uh, uh, well, here, here the dude is called Santa Claus, and it's actually his birthday uh, today. So uh, uh, Prestige Creators came in as our uh, whole year Santa. <laughs> and uh, we'll have uh, the first, uh, let me get the date straight. Uh, the first giveaway will be Sunday the 19th, so in two weeks. And then the second, uh, like I said two weeks ago, will be half price. But whatever you pay uh, Prestige Creators will go to charity. And uh, we thought that was a nice thing to do because uh, obviously uh, there's some people in need at the end of the year, which we might as well help out. And uh, I think that is uh, quite a nice gesture uh, that, that you get something half off, but 
you can actually know that they're not taking any advantage of it because it goes directly to charity. And uh, I hope people will like that idea too, because I think it's pretty sweet. So uh, yep. uh, this is actually what he looks like uh, over at uh, Prestige Creators. Uh, <laughs> this giant beard, and he looks at us like, man. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. So the idea is, is that, uh, let me, uh, yeah. you can send me an email at mickeypd4 at gmail.com and we're going to uh, invoke the, the dual tradition a bit. Uh, first of all, uh, you're going to have to tell me uh, why this year you've been a good boy or girl. Because, uh, I mean... That's a little bit, little, little, little bit Biden-ish. You're going to sniff them too or what? I think... No, I just sniffed the oak. <laughs> I, I sniffed the wood. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, that's funny. Uh, but... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, 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 I don't. I, you know, I can't really verify if it's true or not. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you've been good, tell me anyway. If you've not, make it a convincing lie. <laughs> That's right. Become the government. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lie. Or like Tigger said, he uh, he saved an orphan from a burning building. <laughs> That's what he did this year. <laughs> so he's good. <laughs> Saved an orphan from a burning building. That's pretty good cred, man. <laughs> yeah, he's leaving out. He set the building on fire, but that's another thing. <laughs> that's funny shit. <laughs> but uh, then you send me uh, attached with that uh, a picture of uh, the product you actually have that you would like uh, a cover for. Uh, because uh, obviously uh, we don't want any scalpers and we actually want you to enjoy it. And uh, in terms of uh, what covers you want, uh, go to their website. Everything goes except for the BLF 5 cover, which is amazing, meaning it's up to you what you would like. So it's literally a wish list. Do, yeah. you, do you have some 8,000s you like? Uh, let's see. We can go for... Eh, come on. We can go for the 6,000s. Uh, if you have uh, a beer sound stage, that's all fine. I have one uh, of these covers, and it's fucking amazing. And uh, in... in like little anecdote, right? The the magnets on the covers he uses are uh, even fucking stronger than the ones of B and O. So when you're nearly when you're all lined up with the uh, little pinholes with the magnets, it, like it rips out of your hands because the magnets take over. <laughs> so the Prestige has listed everything also in the chat. Yeah. So B Lab eight thousand, B Lab six thousand, B Lab four thousand, B Lab seven one, B Lab seven two. Uh, BSN Stage, BSN 9000, and the BioLab ones that we... Where are we? Eh. They're not shown. Yeah, but I have them here. Mm. So... Uh, and there you go. So you can win all that. And uh, as per the Dutch Sinterklaas tradition, you either write a little poem or an anecdote that's funny can be about anything, will be the judges. Uh, I thought about having it up for uh, a, an internet vote once again, and then thought, well, I know what happened last time. <laughs> and uh, then uh, I, I have to talk to Brendan being salty for like three months. Uh, so <laughs> so uh, I, I'm not willing to do that again. <laughs> But uh, so you, you can uh, choose all of this. I mean, again, this is a fucking amazing giveaway. I think in total with Prestige, uh, just for reference, there's no kickbacks. This is just 
thank you to a wonderful community. Like we, we don't get anything of this. And the, the second giveaway on the 26th will be for charity, which is again, thank you on behalf of the charity. This, I think in total, we've together now given away something like over five grand worth of product. And it's fucking amazing. So uh, all hail prestige, because this is great. I, I, I love these guys. Yeah, man. So it's only 16% have BLAB1 survey says, wow, it's an old time speaker. I can't believe they were like, they came out in 1996. I thought they came out later than that. I think but, 2001? No, no. Yeah, that's what I thought, like 2000, but I think 1996 is when they were out first. What, BLAB1s? Mm hmm. I'm pretty sure it's 2001. I don't know where I'm taking getting the 96 from. Let's see. Products, category, speakers. I'm going to go look it up and not be overwhelmed. <laughs> it bothers me now. So. Anyway, so uh, it's a, qu a quick compilation. Uh, <laughs> you, you must tell me that you're a, a, a good boy or girl. <laughs> Uh, 1999. Man, woman, geezer, I don't care. You must tell me that you're... Geezer. <laughs> I don't care. No, 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 no. None of the geezer, angry, vegan bullshit, man. It's a she or he, not a she, he, not a he, she. None of that. Everybody that's, uh, that emails you with that shit, I will personally send a lump of goddamn coal their way <laughs> with fucking Canadian carbon tax paid for it too, goddamn it. <laughs> Fucking geezer me the fuck out of here, man. I don't care if you I do. <laughs> if you're sneaky enough, I'll get it past the judge Willie Henrik and Eric. <laughs> <laughs> you send me a picture of the product you would actually like a cover for, and either you write me a poem or send us a good anecdote about B and O, about us, about prestige creators. Uh it's all good. I must say, though, poems count for a bit more than anecdotes, unless it's a fucking amazing anecdote. <laughs> or a filthy joke. Send a filthy joke, because, you know, there's not enough humor in, uh, around nowadays. So, yeah, the dirtier the better. Some that can't even be said here. If cool. it's the, the, the ultimate dad joke, that would also be fine. <laughs> Something that is just fucking drier than a beef jerky left on a dashboard. Something like that, yes. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Right on. <laughs> this is gonna be great. So in the in the meantime, uh, go and uh, have a look at uh, Prestige's Instagram. Subscribe uh, if you like, and uh, also uh, their website because this is amazing. Have a, have a rummage through what you uh, would like because it's basically a Santa <laughs> Claus wish list uh, that we can uh, uh, that we can uh, potentially. Uh, uh, help fulfill which is really really nice to do and I, I like these sorts of giveaways and uh if you have uh some let's say you're okay with giving to charity please note that because that would be amazing too because uh i mean uh, i know these covers aren't cheap but the, to my in my opinion quite honestly they they are cheap for how they are made because they're actual wood they're like the stage cover, for instance, is actual oak, uh, whereas like the the oak co the oak cover for the Biovision Eclipse is bloody MDF, and that's a B and O made cover. <laughs> they had the reasons for doing that, bro. I'm sure. Yeah. I understand. I d still don't care. <laughs> no, I for that money, I would want to have it, and I would want to have it CNC. I don't want single fucking plank wood. Yeah. But uh, to put it this way, the 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 B and O uh, MDF cover is like six hundred quid, and this uh, stage cover is uh, a similar size and is less. So uh, I mean, I, 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 maybe it's something that comes with being a big company or something. I I don't know. You do get a sticker on over that serial number deal, right? Yes, and I did that, and I don't see that serial number at all. Lord oh, God. Uh, uh, it looks neat. I really like it. I really like it. 
Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I think the most people out there have stages and uh, uh, they, they are super sexy. They, they have uh, uh, websites. Nice. Or... I like that, that Eclipse covers are coming soon. That's good. I wonder what they're, what, I wonder, I really am curious about the design you chose, Prestige. How that's going to look. Uh, yeah, so. So here you have one. Uh, they, they have a color palette also on their website. Uh, they, you, I want to say, have something like 30 different color options for any cover you pick. Sick. And it's uh, everything from really light natural oak to just painted black or gray or white or whatever you want. Hmm. I like that gold with oak. I'd still go for a silver. I'd probably now go for the anthracite, to be honest, with walnut on it. That would look sick. Uh, yeah, I think so, too. I mean, uh, for anybody that is eyeing a stage, go out and buy one quick. Because uh, uh, then you can still uh, be part of the giveaway. <laughs> Good question, Brandon, there. Uh, to creator, prestige creator, how about ETA on the level covers? Because those I am interested as well. I would definitely like a level uh, in uh, oak. And, you know, like, no disrespect to skinny play, but I'm just not making it out of a fucking fabric. I want real wood. I love real wood. So <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, we'll be working on it January, February. So ETA is uh, beyond that because working on it doesn't mean it's ready. Obviously, it needs to fit properly, etc. Uh, mm. I mean, in terms of covers for your, let's say you have a beer sun nine thousand. I just got rid of mine because of literally space constraints. But this is such an amazing looking cover like this. If you have it with the harmony. Like, holy shit balls. Mm. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I like it. I think that uh, if I do move, uh, I'm going to leave, uh, I'm going to leave the cover, uh, the, the 9,000 with my mom. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think I'm ready to have it leave the family yet. No. No, it's a sweet, uh, a sweet CD player. It's the, the only imitation that comes anywhere close to it, which is an overstatement. Is oh, is it that Sony or JVC thing from like the late eighties, early nineties that was fucking plastic? Mm -hmm. with, I think four CDs or something. Yeah, these are. I like those covers, especially like the solid one, because nobody really even. Most of my clients never even knew that that latch opened and there's a freaking a button keypad behind it. And then behind it is the stickers with the serial number, right? Yeah. Like, not many people knew that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Matthew said, I didn't know Bino's oak cover for the Eclipse uh, is not oak, but MDF. Uh, yeah, I did. I, I had one. And I, I totally... Ex well, I didn't. I wouldn't say I had one. I had one in my hands to try because I, I at the time I had an eclipse and I couldn't decide: do I want the aluminium cover on my eclipse or uh, the oak one? So uh, I got them home to try, and I, I was like looking and inspecting. It's like, holy shit! This is like, like this starts out as like a block of MDF that's then carved out and rounded <laughs> and then laminated in oak. Like, what the fuck? Flipped it over, Alan Key falls on your floor stand, dents it what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> with a little Swedish flag. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I, I was a bit miffed by that. That's why I went with an aluminium one because that I mean, aluminium is aluminium. And well, especially when you come from like a Biovision 14, let's say, cover, right? Like that would, like, because they, they started the whole fucking thing with it all, right? Yeah, they started it all with the 18s. 
And then the, the, the 14 came with the, that was insane craftsmanship on that grill. And then we go to Eclipse and then you just veneer shit on a, on a piece of MDF. And it's not even like you can see the glue marks on some spots. Cause I've seen that cover and it's nothing. And there's nothing to shake a stick at, bro. Maybe no. they're better now, but nothing to shake the stick at. I mean, with this, you can literally see that it's actual fucking wood. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's it's one of these weird B and O things where every so often they make a dud, and mm -hmm. they're very proud of their duds <laughs> for some reason or other. I, I I don't get it, but I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, unfortunately, sadly so. But uh, what is that? A stage oh. with a oh, I was looking at the picture. I'm like, oh fuck, that's pretty cool, actually. That's a light of some sort. Yeah, but the stage looks cool, except that they show in it with the freaking 18s, which don't work together. Technically, in terms of looks, they work great together. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude. I love the stage. This. Looks good. The stage with this cover is so nice. This, I mean, I, I, in in a way, I'm very glad that uh, somehow B and O thought, uh, let's put the wood on the outside and call it a day, and that leaves room for innovations like Prestige to, to come with something like this. What stand is that from? The Eclipse. Eclipse. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that H stand, but I think it would work because it kind of resembles the frame of the whole stage and everything else. Like it, it sort of works together very well. And now we're uh, <coughs> sneaking into John's living room. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. I'm still so happy he's gotten rid of that boomerang TV of his. God damn, that was just terrible. Also, I still the... have a few clients that have those, and it's just like, why would you just not just toss it, bro? I mean, then I sit in the sweet spot, man. Would you get, like, in a very sunny room, would you go with an LG or Samsung? Where's the sun coming from? Behind or in front of me? Uh, behind you, onto shining onto the tent. like the whole room is lit up. It's all glass. Personally, I'd go with the uh, LG in that case, because like if the, the if the TV is here and the light is coming that way, right, the sun, then I'd mm -hmm. probably potentially go Samsung because the TV has to compete with uh, the the sun coming at your eyes. But if the the sun is coming from behind you, it like your your pupils don't react that heavily to that. Mm -hmm. uh, but the most predominant thing you're dealing with is glare at that point, so that's why I would still uh, take an LG at that point because uh, the the colors are better. Yeah, because it's the. the client of mine that i'm doing a theater for and now they want to do like in the sunroom whatever else have you there's a whole discussion about what would you do in a like he's building a fucking pool okay which it's not like something outlandish right because like good for you making a pool you're going to use it for maybe three weeks out of the goddamn year with your kids leaves and shit are going to blow into it because there's it, where he's like situated it's going to be a disaster for having a pool that is open air yeah right? Like well, Sandeep says, uh, never Samsung have an LG with some blinds. <laughs> we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure they're going to have some window coverings there. But anyways, so there's a discussion about what do you do for, you know, like when you're out there entertaining and, and, and uh, so the builder, they put basically like just whatever default in ceiling in socket speakers right over the gazebo thing. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's all covered. And I'm thinking, like, that sucks, man, because you're never going to hear it by the pool. And I'm trying to sell them on a level. Just take the level out. You have more than enough sound. It's close to you because even in a hot tub, like, you can still bring it to you close. 
So I don't know. I just uh, it's an interesting it's an interesting dilemma. It's a very interesting dilemma. Yeah. Well, like Sandeep said, to be fair, Samsung's usually win best bride room TV. Yeah, I get that, but it's also I mean it's Android. It's 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 fine, but what what do you want to do with sound if you want to integrate it to anything? Be you know, you kind of have to go uh, LG at this point. It's funny because the renovation is about fucking one and a half million dollars, and they're so fucking cheap about this. It's pissing me off. Because I would have just done, you know, what put an LG panel with the stage there, and and everything is taken care of right there and then. Period. Wait, Samsungs are not Android. What do they run on then? Their own OS. Hmm. I don't know. They use their own OS, actually. There we go. Tizen. That sounds properly Asian. <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, I guess if it works, it works, but... Mm, I don't know. I'm not that enamored with... Like, I, I like the... What is it? The, the Samsung, the frame, but other than that, uh, or whatever the art uh, version they have is. But... Uh, the, the regular TVs, I, I can't say I'm that bothered with them, quite honestly. I'd r rather have a generic LG, even without the B&O bits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brandon, Origin Acoustics are... Uh, you know, put it this way, they're having a hard time justifying $2,100 after tax for a fucking level. Do you think I'm gonna be able to convince them to spend about twenty grand to trench out the whole fucking? They're gonna to have to trench out anyways for the lights. So, but then you know, me pulling my conduits to those speakers, speakers on their own are pretty expensive to begin with, and then uh, you know, having a core and amplifier too. That's you know, that's at least fifteen G's worth of shit for what you can have for two grand. And it doesn't rot in your garden for the entire year, but you can actually utilize it everywhere in the house too during a, during a cold season. But I sometimes have a hard time convincing people about how they live because I know how they live. They just don't admit to it. You know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see how it all pans out. I'm supposed to do the theater with uh, with them this uh, sometime this month, I think, in ten days or or whatever or eight days. I'm not sure. Plus, I got to move my mother in. She's getting her house on Thursday next week. How's the wiring going for that? Is what? it all done? Uh, all the ne network and ML, uh, whatever. Everything is done. I'm just waiting for her to fucking get the keys so we can go in and install everything and like the cables are pulled but obviously not everything is terminated so i have to terminate everything put a box in uh maybe i'll film it as a process of, of uh, you know put it on my instagram i guess and uh finally i get rid of these fucking eight thousands from my foyer and uh i'll get rid of the 3500 from my closet because that's also i'm sitting here for her and uh then I have to move into BV9, which is going to be a lot of laps. And a 740 on a wall bracket I mm -hmm. have to install. So, yeah, there's, there's, there's a pile of things that I have to do or get done in there. And, uh, and yeah, then it's going to be all good times. And what else was I going to say? Yeah, that house is going to be fun. I think I'm going to give her my gateway if I can get hold of the fucking bio-living intelligence by then. <laughs> Have they finally figured out how to uh, order something with a part number yet? It gives them an error. On our RS system, it gives them a fucking error here that he, like, that part is, like, it says goes through and then it just goes unavailable. Something. So he had to email somewhere. I don't know. I just... I don't know. Uh, I'm having a hard time believing this now. So I will uh, do whatever I can to get it. I'll probably just, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to email Chemo on Monday myself and ask them. And uh, yeah, 
and go from there. Okay, that's cool. I like that uh, walnut cover. I I still so much love a Beer Sound Five. I I know I keep coming back to this, but holy shit, that's some good design. I have one on eBay exactly with that wall bracket and a CD ripper. I mean, I mean, I know, but it's, I I'm I'm not entirely sure I would could ever convince myself getting one at this point, but. Like, holy fuck, in terms of design and looks, it, like, I don't understand why they didn't, like, make a Mark two, three, four, whatever out of this and went with a moment and said, no, no, no longer this. We need to have a box. Mm -hmm. Like, was there no way you could make in, in any which way this screen detachable? Not at the time, dude. It's 1024 by 7. I know at the, not at a like time, but w once the, they were working on the moment and you had the flippy screen, right? Mm -hmm. Like, w why did they so radically change from this? Because this still looks good. I mean, I'm not saying a moment looks bad per se, but I think in five years' time, this will still look good and a moment will just look weird in five years' time. Yeah, if this had been retrofitted or Mark II'd with the touchscreen, I think this would have been a, still a great, great product. <clears throat> but I think the trick would have been also, like, you would have to do the touchscreen interface on the glass itself, not the display, like it usually is, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that would have to be on that fucking glass, because there's, you know, plus that stupid half arc that that you know i don't know how they would be possible i guess with today's technology you can because you can do lcds that are actually curved and stuff like if you look at the ones on the on, on the vehicles dashboards and shit so or even on the phones that you can now like flip open yeah and... yeah so that would be something interesting that if they would revisit that idea and just have i mean i can't this... see them do it now but i i don't know it's just maybe because lewis passed or something See, like, I would do that. I would do that with a PoE on the back of it. Nothing else. Like, no other power. Like, just PoE. So then you have network. It goes from the switch directly in here. You know, if you have, like, a 600-watt PoE, this wouldn't eat that much to begin with. And then have one more RJ45 port for your for your uh, power link, or maybe two, right, just to, like, you know, not be stingy. And that would, uh, I think, that would still, to this day, rock. Because it's a committed, you know, uh, music player, and it uh, just looks weird. It, it looks wicked still. Mike Hunt just said they need to turn it into an iPad interface. I'm not sure that you mean exactly the same, but in my mind, what popped in, what popped up is, what if they sort of have the the track selector built, like they have on that thing on the Beersound Five built mm -hmm. into the app for like your deal at uh, LNA. Uh, server or whatever if the bno app if you have it on ipad right and you do that and you can just swipe like that and you have that the look of the how you chose music on the beer sound 5 that would be sweet because it's I just a skin i wonder if they're going to have something yeah i wonder if they're ever going to have something that uh that is an actual audio master now that that as we used to know it because we're back to this era now where everybody's now, oh, yeah, I know, we're just going to go back to the cell phones. And remember, like, we've been there when uh, they introduced the Playmaker and the Essence, right? Like, oh, no, everything is in the app because app is cool and, right, everybody airplayed. And, like, it was just, you know, your phone does everything and you, you're just a days of yore, right? And then they kind of did the research again and figured, well, fuck, like, a lot of people dislike using that, actually, and they would like to have something that is a committed. So the moment came out, right? Mm-hmm. And now we're back to square one again, where, you know, like with the core and stuff, like it's another, you know, era of essence where, where we're going full circle back to like, you know, everybody has to have, you know, the app installed. And what I don't like about that is it still doesn't work for me. Like if, if, my, if Nick comes over here, he can't just hop on my shit because then it starts hijacking all the product, right? Because it always wants to move yeah. it to the account. So I don't understand where we're going wrong with this but uh i just uh i dislike using the app but i have to use the app 
You know what I mean? Because there's nothing else I could do about it. And I do find it intuitive to a, to an extent. Like with the new updates and such that come out, yeah, it takes a little bit of exploring every time because there's a new feature. And I like that, you know, there's a little bit of excitement to it that, fuck, there's a new thing going on. I can now pick, uh, you know, like those little icons on the, on the on the on the shape for for woke uh, uh, for presets for you know those three uh, presets you get mm -hmm. so that's cool and there's a whole bunch of new stuff like to be on a radio integration into the whole environment is cool but uh, i just uh, don't like the fact that i'm still dependent on a phone you know what i mean nor do i but like uh can, can you i can turn it down a bit probably or is that too much uh that's too much go midways god damn it so if you go into stay don't auto adjust stay if you go into the harmony right they, mm -hmm. they they cleaned it up pretty pretty nicely yeah 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 but now a lot of the options are under those triple dots up top there which then brings up another drag up menu so for pro product, product settings and then uh, up here are again sound info, which is what the TV actually is doing. That's cool. It actually shows you that. Yeah, but why is that under sound info and not in like the sound uh, group Tab. down below? So well, that's, that's a on... speaker group, or what is it? Sound settings. Yeah, sound settings, uh, which is basically default volume. Which like, why does this need to be on the home page? It's... I think the sound setting should have been the sound mode, which is speech, drama, movie, sports, uh, custom, whatever the fuck else are there. That's what I mean. And then you get an equalizer. But again, uh, who cares? I, yeah. But like, why? Why is the the same sound info divvied up in separate ways? Which is why, to me, it's like it's sort of intuitive, but weird mm. stuff. That's to me because. I quite often check, like, uh, did the Apple TV just uh, uh, pick the right uh, audio codec? Because occasionally it doesn't, and it picks 5.1 when 7.1 is available. I don't know why, but hmm. that's what it occasionally does. I won't say this is often, but it's uh, maybe 1 in 10 times, maybe 1 in 15, something like that. It's... Uh, but and then you just go to like sound info and you can literally see like currently tv is playing it's uh, airing in pcm 2.0 and, yeah. and then you can see how it's uh, allocating it so you can basically see uh what your uh speaker group is at the same time and uh whether it's uh, you're scaling it one to one uh you use the i think you can choose the dolby one or the true image one Hmm. but it's 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 one of those things like why is that why is that piece of sound info not Very. on the home screen but like things like sound settings which are like default volume which are equally useless on the home screen why why is that not together <laughs> plus yeah. also i think it's kind of weird that you have the triple dots you tap the triple dots which then takes you to another sub menu of shit you need to choose, which then product settings brings you to another list of stuff you need to choose from. Just take me to this fucking page already. Like there's yeah, no that's... need to split it up in all that way. No. I mean, if you go to product settings, why is support and, uh, <clears throat> uh, where is it? Support and product guide. Why is that not just the bottom of this, right, of this list? Because who cares? Why does that need to be a separate tab? I don't, I don't get it. Makes it more complicated that way, bro. Well, you, you, you're just tapping more. Like in terms of, like I get it to a point, but why would you need to tap more if the whole idea is ease? Especially once, I mean. There's plenty of room for like another little subdivision of lines there for the support and product guide. Like it's not yeah. like your screen is full. No, and you can like I would rather swipe down than tap. Yeah, things. I'd rather do. 
<laughs> yeah, they just go up and down. Shit, man. Crypto is like eating a salty penis right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, Brennan asks, any idea if when tuning is coming to the level? It's already there through Google Home, if you use Google Home. I don't <laughs> think tuning is coming to it uh, as such, but you will have been a radio. Mm. Uh, Sandy, so Sandy has the same. Too many taps to do simple things. I gave up on making suggestions. Read the app a year ago. I have. We didn't. No. <laughs> and things are changing. <laughs> I so far haven't longer, given though. up on being no <laughs> with anything. No. But, uh, but uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, so far. People, if you're here, leave a vote. Like, let us know. Uh, so far, 16 votes. Majority is yes, which is, I guess, good. Because that, depending on what products you have, at least uh, our audience says uh, to them, mostly it makes sense, the app, mm -hmm. which is nice. I think that's good feedback for B&O. But for yes. us who have maybe silly setups, if that's a thing, or dedicated mm -hmm. customers, however you want to name it. Uh, uh, it's th There could be improvements or simplifications, rather, really. Yeah. I, th there's some things that, you know, like I'm obviously also hung in a little bit too much on, uh, on the network link in the moment being the main driver in uh in my in my environment and setup but uh and i think that they're more or less abandoning that that part of the portfolios uh yesteryears i guess hmm. but i'm not entirely sure i agree with that other than that the moment has been disbanded completely it's been completely abandoned like it's just there is nothing like it it's at least, you know, like if I have the level running, I could join it here. It plays, but it doesn't show any metadata, nothing. It just plays. Mm. It plays without any, uh, it looks good with the wood on it, I guess, because then you don't have to see the album art or nothing. But it's at least it still works, which is good. It's integratable. Because I quite honestly could care less for the, the, the metadata. Usually if I want to look up something, I look it up through the phone on the Shazam or these are searched, so then I can actually just put it right into the library instead of retyping it 300 times. So, <clears throat> but I think that they should improve upon uh, Halo's software quite a bit still. I think that they should have the option of having the independent control <clears throat> of the BioLab 90, 50, and 28 for source switching and such. Well, BioLab 28 is more or less co controlled by the thing anyways, because you can just pick uh sources because it's got the mozart in it but it should be it should be able to control the bloody 90s i would really like that well they're not done for the year they're supposed to be rolling out new software for the halo mm -hmm. these i think they said from the first to the fifth roughly and mine hasn't for some reason just yet and the way I understand it is that they go uh, in terms of customers, smaller countries first. <clears throat> so uh, for for that reason, I think, oh, is it the Scandinavian countries and then North America go first before the rest of Europe and then Asia go? And I think that's mm -hmm. partially because of literally the uh, volume size of if something goes wrong, like with North America, you, you, you hit... 15 people whereas if like the netherlands goes wrong you hit like half a million people yeah but yeah that, my rattling halo it is rattling halo <laughs> but yeah mine was made in november 20th or november 2020 sorry what is your on the sticker on, on the, the bottom, bottom? Yeah, august 2020 fuck I missed it by a few months. Could have had a good one. <laughs> I mean, I can 
just like the uh, be a remote one right i can make it rattle but at that point i'm shaking so hard and like i'm gonna break it or let it go and then it's gonna smash into no, something no that's unrealistic but like if you put the halo down you can hear the clink when the when the remote yeah i don't know yours is that. january 2021 and and his rattles too so they had a whole year of this nuts. i think that's just the way that those are gonna be like now they're gonna have that loose ass ring on it. I think they probably have done it because of the same fiasco they had with the Essence wall mounted remotes or the whichever ones that, 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 whatever self lubricating uh, but special sauce season up, started season up. Maybe, maybe it's my suggestion, right? But, wouldn't you expect them to like say anything about that? Like, I understand if that was the case, but wouldn't it be better if you literally told your customers, hey, we know there's a difference between X and Y, and it's the same product, but we did this for a reason. And then if that is literally the tolerance reason of like, let's say crap gets into it and it sees, you say... To the people with the the earlier ones that are too snug, you can get a new one if you want. But realistically, if you think about it, for how much tolerance they've built up, like, where do you gotta like? What do you leave it on the fucking patio somewhere in Abu Dhabi over a sandstorm and shit to like load it up with sand? I don't understand. Where might be a big market for them. I don't know. God, I mean, uh, like, the the Formula One race in the, was it Saudi Arabia? They were tossing money around like crazy. <laughs> fuck. I mean, I think they started building the circuit like six months ago, and it's done. <laughs> like it was ready for use. Mm -hmm. Or even if it's not like on the level of like public, they should at least let the dealers know internally, saying, "Hey, man." Yeah, and then we'll like figure we it out from there, and then we'll yeah. go to the So public. if people but... come bitching to you that, hey, man, my remote is rattling, it's like, well, actually, the reason why this is done is because of this and that, and you can forward them that fucking newsletter addendum, whatever else the hell have you, and I think it would make you look way more reputable than uh, than just, like, you know, us, the dweebs now, showing you how rattly the remotes are. Like, is it not supposed to be rattling or supposed to be rattling? I've never had rattling BNO product in my life, so I don't understand where uh, where the the disconnect is here. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Just BNO corporate, if you're listening, like. Surely you have a PR department. It would be nice if these blurbs go out to dealers. Yeah, bio tips, it used to be called, or whatever else have you. Or we, daily, weekly news. We had a weekly newsletter where it would, they, I don't know if they still do that or how many people read through it, but uh, <laughs> that's where that's where all that stuff used to be noted. And, you know, like the workarounds, obviously, and so on and so forth and, and details about different software updates and stuff like i don't know i i'm a nerdy type and i miss that kind of information i like knowing that information because then if somebody that wants to know asks me that and me as a professional i don't have an answer on the ready i feel like a fucking dumbass that's i just don't like that i like to be very well educated about my product that i'm selling and supporting and servicing that's just it and call me fucking crazy, but I think that's just fair to a customer. So yeah, or I don't know if you want a, a an internet PR department, tell John to make a video and tell us about it. Yeah, I don't want people to hate on John, but it's hard to hate John. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's not necessarily the hate, but it's just like it yeah. also will make him look better because then these. The, the 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 biased uh, negative people right would uh, uh, basically get disarmed because he just doesn't praise BNO because he's not just paid by BNO to show BNO off in these particular uh, colors right but he actually says that this is what it is as far as uh, you know it's it 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 should be a little more transparent that's all. 
Uh, yeah, Mike. <laughs> Beer tips. <laughs> they ain't coming back with an answer in a hot minute. Yeah, which is annoying because half this sh shit we know. <laughs> like, I remember vividly this was what, like four months ago on Monday on Twitch, you were streaming and somebody from Skinny Play asked us something about, uh, what was it? Uh, 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 Toslink in on an A9, I think it was. And why yes. wouldn't auto start? And, and, and we knew, but apparently the help desk didn't know. And they hadn't heard in like a week. <clears throat> yeah. Which is uh, weird. And I don't know. We're here to help. Li quite literally. We keep on saying that. Like, we'll, we'll call you a dick or an idiot for doing stupid things. But mostly we're here to help. <laughs> uh, um, question from uh, Frederick. If you play a Netflix movie with Dolby Atmos on a B&O TV, will it fall back to 5.1 and then upmix? Or can it actually play back the ceiling channels? Um, I think we've been over this with Henrik. Uh, and he, sorry, he means from WebOS on the TV. We've been over this with Henrik. Uh, Atmos is a buzzword that people think is synonymous with high speakers, but it's not. Uh, Atmos is a 3D uh, sound within the space that is part of Dolby True HD. However, that is uh, an extra data set of where it is in 3D space. You do not per se need height speakers for that. You can technically do this with one speaker. However, most Atmos kits have something that is up firing because that's the easiest way to get uh, height perception because it's not just on the flat plane, but also the, the, the third dimension, right? Mm -hmm. Uh. So to answer your question, it's not as simple as that because uh, uh, the the sound center does not have a, a, a Dolby Atmos license. And as to our understanding from what Jeff said, they haven't yet found a way to, uh, to implement true image and Dolby Atmos at the same time because they're decoders and upscalers. Also, the Atmos True HD part is an upscaler in the same way that uh, True Image is. Uh, so there is no Atmos license. Also, since it's like side tangent, uh, since it is True HD, so that is Dolby's latest and greatest product. Uh, they are the harshest on that for judging with licenses. The stage is like quite different because a license for a soundbar that uh, doesn't attach a bunch of shit is is a different type of license than something like uh, a BioVision is. Fully fledged processor. Yes. Uh, so to come back to the question at hand, I the, the starting off point is kind of not fair and is a bit misunderstood. And that's partially Dolby to blame because they never really properly uh, uh, explained that. Uh, since there is no license, if you uh, play Netflix movies from uh, the WebOS, the LG TV will not see the license, therefore will not display the Atmos uh, soundtrack. Uh, it will play it in 5.1 and then upmix for the height speakers. Uh, that is correct and that is uh, how it's done uh, however if you use like what i do an apple tv for netflix and attach it uh to the panel the net the apple tv will see the uh the atmos license from the tv but since uh that uh how would you say? Uh, I forget the name now. The the, the handshake of w what each side can do goes from one device to the second and not the third one down the line as well. Uh, the Apple TV will have no issue with sending down uh, the, the Atmos signal. However, since it's an Apple TV, uh, Apple TV will do it uncompressed. And for Apple TV, that will be uh, uh, un uncompressed LPCM. Uh, which uh, so meaning that if there is specific audio in the high channels, it will send it there. 
and if I uh, like watch anything on Netflix from the Apple TV, it will say Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. And if I then so the answer, so the short answer is yes, more or less. It'll work. It'll still fucking play all the channels. Yes, but through through image. But but only with. Uh, with an Apple TV, not through the webOS, <laughs> not through the, mm -hmm. the Netflix that's on the like the the panel itself. It has to go through <clears> the external. <throat> yeah, it has to come from like an Apple TV or whatever. I don't know exactly why this is. Uh, do I mind? I would have rather not have to buy an Apple TV. I mean, so is the Apple TV connected to your sound center or directly to the panel first? To the panel. And then it just earks into the yes. sound state, sound set, uh, sound center. Yeah. And mm. then you get uh, full eight channels in. I'm not even sure an Apple TV can do more than that. Uh, I must say, though, there is a difference in the quality Netflix can deliver through the WebOS app, also in terms of pictures, uh, as it is for sound. Uh, it, the, whatever you do this way the sound quality goes up because as soon as the atmos track plays uh from this, apple tv right yeah but, but even from a regular web os let's say you have a receiver right like on the netflix side of things like as soon as netflix sees atmos capable it loads a different uh sound uh preset from the servers of netflix meaning uh the 5.1, even if it's Atmos or not, is something like 500 kilobits down. But the Atmos one is something like 900 to a megabyte down in terms of audio. And that's a big difference for three more channels or two more channels. Mm -hmm. So it, regardless, you get an upgrade in uh, sound quality because there's just more data. And uh, to me, it's very noticeable. I must say, though, in terms of a uh, receiver, BioVision, aka Sound Center, it is one of the best, if not the best in the world, quite honestly, and this is not fanboying, at upscaling whatever you want to more channels than are available. It's by far the best. And I've heard a whole bunch of receivers and such that they're trying, if they don't have a signal specific to that particular effect, and it's really suffering, Secretage, where... It's insane what the true image does with however many speakers you connect to it. Well, whatever the limitations are, 21, I guess, which is insane amount of channels. Uh, it sounds just more and more enveloping, more speakers you put around yourself, but it's mm -hmm. not out of place, which is weird. Yeah. Like it's not a place at all. So um, Matthew D says, so is there any reason to have a separate Apple TV box then? if the apps you want are native within the LG. Um, well, one of the things, quite honestly, is longevity. I would say within the first three years of owning the panel, no. But LG is kind of known for ditching their panel updates after like three years. Like mm -hmm. if you look at the Eclipse Gen 1, right? I don't think that ever came over WebOS 3.5. I, I don't know why, but LG sort of said, well, this is too old now. It could run higher WebOSs, uh, but we choose not to give it so that people buy uh, newer panels, which is fair in a way, but it's kind of nasty when it's just a service they could roll out for like minimal expenditure. Mm -hmm. uh, so certain apps will definitely not work under uh, WebOS 4. And I think one of them is Disney. Mm -hmm. uh, or Disney Plus, I mean, by that. So, I mean, Apple TV, uh, Apple like even the Gen 2 Apple TVs, are, I think, are still updated. At least Apple-wise. Like, like, maybe not OS-wise, but like Apple TV 4K will be updated for like another five years from now. I like that more than I like the native sources inside the TVs. And I've seen people try to use them, and it's always hanky in one way or the other. It's, it's I just find I don't even fuck around. I give them an Apple TV, and that's the end of it. Yeah. Everybody that I know has an Apple TV. Older TVs, I swapped <laughs> over, you know, the little flat ones for the thicker ones. Still 1080p, but it's much more responsive. People love it. 
and you don't have an issue. But uh, uh, so Frederick asks, can it replicate the effect of, let's say, a helicopter flying over? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Holy fuck, is it real? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I think I've said this was it maybe not last week, but I've said it in the last two months a few times. We have this really fucking annoying ad here. There's actually two of them. One is for a delivery company, company, and the other one is somebody's coming home from a fucking supermarket. And the doorbells are exactly the same as the fucking doorbells we have here. <laughs> and whenever they press that button, it comes out with not this 17, but the one facing this wall. And my doorbell is over there. And every time it's like, oh, fuck, it's the TV. <laughs> That's so funny. It's so annoying, and it still gets me. Like what? What a genius idea! That's like because it'll always show up on the TV as a as on a left and right channel, right? Because it's yeah. part of the the down mix soundtrack. But as soon as you have a you know a, a sound system or a theater or something, it just goes like somewhere weird. <laughs> and coincidentally, it works for you. I like it. I mean, um, but to add to that, for some reason, the the the. Uh, true image never ever chooses to put that sound anywhere else it's always in this fucking 17 up here in the top it's never coming from the 50 down here so somehow mm. it figures out which sounds are normally height or something like that i don't exact like this would be something uh to ask jeff if he had the time for like how does the true image know what usually comes from where that is a good question. Because if, if I go to YouTube, YouTube is stereo. Like, if I put on a rain track, right, and sit there, like, the 17s will do most of the fucking rain on top of me. Hmm. I just, I don't know. Yeah, or how does it up mix? You know what I mean? When you get a, a two-channel stereo and you listen into live music, the audience is also behind you. <laughs> screaming and shit it's insane so yeah there is a there yeah, is a lot uh, to be said about that system uh planes flying over helicopters flying over that literally goes over your head i, I i've done like that shit before <laughs> like it's like holy that's fuck. so funny <laughs> that's so funny or if you take uh newer things from like the witcher uh i think the first scene uh bef well like the first maybe 10 seconds of the first scene of the first episode like it's this rainy forest sort of foresty swamp area and it's mm -hmm. like it sounds like you're sitting in the fucking rain in the living room which is weird it feels wet and shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean i've i've literally like what turned around and was like Oh no, it's the TV. Like I, th I thought it was actually fucking raining outside. Gerard's asking an interesting question: Are internet connected BNO products getting security updates long enough? I don't know. I can answer for Biosound Five. That's done. That doesn't have. Quite honestly, I don't know who would hack your Biosound Five to begin with, but. Uh, I don't know what kind of a security updates you would need for your speakers other than have your fucking Bluetooth turned off so people don't get into it. <laughs> I, right? Like, yeah. I know. In, in terms of security and updates, B&O is one of the few companies that actually takes care of their shit for longer than most. Mm. Like, how long has an M3 been on the market? Like it's EOL now, if not gone, but I mean, it was like five years, something like that. I bet you they'll still support it in two, three years from now. So, yeah, <clears throat> and it won't really like, like, I just don't understand what security, like, what, what can they do that they're going to hack in your speaker and what start speaking through it? I just don't, I don't understand the question that. Like, if somebody's going to send a virus to your speaker, I don't think that that's even plausible. Yeah, so M3 2016. Yeah, the, the, I, they, they will probably support 
that uh, to a certain extent up to like 2026. Maybe, uh, maybe, you're an optimist. maybe no, but I mean, not in certain like parts if it breaks or no, like okay, you're yeah, but... shit out of luck, but in terms of tech, mm. like, they'll probably update the tune in or if something like that changes. Yeah. Because it's still a relevant platform to stuff that has just come out now, like yeah. as, uh, not thank, as in the stage. You know thank what you, I mean? Prestige. Uh, thank you for the giveaway. Thanks, I'll, I'll, I'll put everything in the show notes down below as well. Uh, uh, people send me emails. Go from there. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, uh, Martin asks, this is why I love Puck. The smart features of TVs always stop working eventually. So for me, it's about having a great picture and audio and connect uh, STB to the support and current streaming services. Yeah, this is exactly agree. why Puck is very nice. Like you, I 100% agree with you. And I also like that, uh, that with the Puck, you can actually, well, if you have a good dealer or I have the software, you can actually modify some Puck tables to suits your needs better it's it's a much better way to do it than uh being locked out in a in a harmony and whatever else have you to uh only the generic puck and and, and if and if it works right mm -hmm. especially for especially for set the boxes uh like cable boxes here there's, there's a fucking disaster to control these things man it's a real disaster to control these things yeah, uh, here it says uh, these BNO devices could be used as attacks on other targets like IoT devices. Yeah, but they're on your local network. So, uh, how how secure is your local network? Because it stops searching for other networks as soon as it it's uh, attached to one. Like which yeah. is so if it's uh, connected to your, you're gonna have a hard time making it search for more wi-fi networks around so i think the, the 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 real uh uh what you call it a security start with your with your router and all that exactly it i mean i would and... for obvious reasons uh, also pleasant reasons switch off bluetooth because uh, and you have the option of uh, you can pair to known devices, always open and just off. I put it to always off because yep. uh, by default it's on. Most people don't know this. Uh, so if you're really this, also it stops your fucking neighbors from logging in and going, I don't hear anything and going to 100% while you're sleeping. I've had that and it's annoying as shit. I've had it too, but it, they never played the music, but I'm just watching a movie and all of a sudden the Beatles sound one. I'm like, what the fuck did it connect to? And just one, you know, a couple B boops. I'm like, okay, let's look at the freaking. That's the only thing that exposes you to anything as far as mischievous activity would be is having your Bluetooth always open and automatically reconnect. I fucking turn all that shit off. Quite honestly, if you're at my house, you're not using Bluetooth to stream music. That's that's not how this works here. That we can do that shit on the beach, camping, somewhere where there's no 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 other networks whatsoever. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be worried. Like I'm, I got Unify network in my house, so Ubiquity, and and, and it's rock solid, man. If you have a good password and 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 everything that is a long term committed appliance is hardwired. I don't think that you really have an issue with anything being breached. And if it is going to be breached, it's going to be breached by somebody that is in your house or has access to your network that you have given them to. Yeah. There is no, there is no other logical way that I can, that I can see that go down. <laughs> Matthew, it's the same. Uh, I've had some blue, really Bluetooth in my beer sound one and play terror soundtrack in the middle of the night. <laughs> Not fun. Yeah. Turn off Bluetooth. Absolutely. Turn off Bluetooth. <laughs> Which is another thing I think BNO should do by default actually give you a prompt. Do you want to keep the Bluetooth on or off? Yeah, I understand why it's on uh, at first installation. Because uh, yeah, otherwise you're just sniffing out through it. Well, not only that, otherwise your SOL, uh, if you install it somewhere where your network is either not up and running or your, uh, I don't know, your internet is down or whatever. Mm -hmm. Winston! Kitty. But yeah, it's a. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't. I'm not too worried about me being hacked into my system. Uh, I have good. I have good security. I keep my shit updated or up to date. I guess as far as the the network security goes for the ubiquity side of things, and I have all of my Bluetooth devices turned off. I'm fairly confident if BNO finds a glaring fault in one of their uh, older devices, even though they'll fix it. Yeah, you would hope. I mean, I, I, I understand that you're not bringing out, I don't know, full-on new-fledged features five years after it stopped being made, uh, but uh, in terms of security, they, they do do that. Like mm. They do have occasional updates for stability, that sort of shit. Which is, yeah. I mean, kudos to them. I mean, there's a reason, like, a lot of B&O stuff works, I don't know, 20 years later? <laughs> yeah. I just like the fact that they chose, and, you know, like, even for the Biosound 5, they went with a freaking windows xp that like not many people even bother attacking at this point of time in my opinion <laughs> no. right like like they forgot how to at this point <laughs> exactly it's probably yeah, too, it's too slow to suffer. attack anyway <laughs> i know i i like i thought about it the other day too i'm like shit i couldn't even like I wonder if I could even run a Norton Ghost again like I used to, you know, image hard drives and stuff. Back in the day, we used to do that. And now it's just not happening. But anyways, shall we call it? Yeah. We're at uh, two hour mark. Uh, we're going to call it a show. Tomorrow on Twitch is slightly provisional. I'll talk to you about it later. Uh if we're there, it'll be there as usual. And if not, uh, then uh, I'll let people know on YouTube, Twitch, that sort of thing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, go to the middle of the show and uh, Brendan come with the timestamps <laughs> so people know how to enter this uh, prestige uh, creators giveaway. Uh, everything goes but the BLAP 5 covers. Uh, and uh, so uh, send us a wish list. Email me, mickeypd4 at gmail.com. Uh, uh, tell me you've been a good boy, girl. Uh, write us a little poem and a photo of the product uh, that you want uh, something for. And uh, we'll take it from there. Uh, hope you all have a good week. First uh, draw will be on the 19th and then on the 26th. And uh, hope you all have a good week. Uh, see you possibly tomorrow. And... Uh, Bye. <laughs> See ya.